Hello everyone, welcome to Nick's Flicks. If this is your first time on the Nick and Greg channel, please do hit the subscribe button and join us for all of our future adventures. Be sure to hit the bell as well so you get notified when the new videos get uploaded, okay? Okay. So this month, I'm going to do a little bit of a blast from the past for you because, as I mentioned, I used to have a channel that, in which I did movie reviews. Now, I was kind of more blasé back then, you know, I didn't really put any personality into it like I do now, you know, I'm being more flamboyant in my true self. I probably should have done this then and maybe people would have watched it like you do now. I don't know, I'm being so self-deprecating, it's not even funny. Anyway, I'm going to use some videos in which I talked about Best Picture winners before and uh, kind of do a throwback for you. So let's go back and talk about the first winner for Best Picture, Wings, from 1927-28. Yeah, the, uh, the way the ceremonies were at first was a little weird, but anyway, I'm going to throw it to me now, circa November 2015, to talk about this movie. The interesting thing was the first couple years, it wasn't called Best Picture, it was called Outstanding Picture. The Academy retroactively calls it Best Picture. And the first film on that list is the only silent film to win the, the prize. That's Wings, directed by William A. Wellman. And this film is just amazing. I had never seen it all the way through. I had only seen bits and pieces of the first 30 minutes or so at various times, but never really sat down to watch it. It's really the first film by a major studio that uh, was set during World War I. Uh, this film was made in 1927. The uh, war ended in 1919. It was still a very recent memory for a lot of people at that time. And uh, I guess studios weren't ready to tackle the subject yet because the uh, war was still a recent memory. But the basic story is uh, that you have uh, two guys, Jack and David, who uh, both are going off to war. Jack is kind of a middle class kind of guy. David is an upper class kind of guy from a rich family. And uh, there's also Mary, played by the illustrious it girl, Clarebo. And uh, she loves Jack, but Jack doesn't love her. And uh, David loves uh, this other girl. And uh, Jack also loves this other girl. They love the same girl as well. Uh, but she really loves David. But Jack is trying to... that Only thinks that she loves him. Even though she doesn't really love him. They both go off and end up in the same uh, infantry. The same training. And uh, at first they're rivals. But then they find they become great friends. And then they go off to train to fly. Fly those uh, planes that you see. Uh, the the great sweeping wing planes that you see during that era that you don't see in like World War II. Planes are much more refined. But the, the, the thing about this film that was really impressive, and I think it's what really won the Academy voters on to, to make this the uh, outstanding picture, the best picture of, uh, of the first ceremony, was the photography. There are shots in this movie that were just very different from anything else you'd see uh, in movies of the time. They literally taught the actors. Uh, Buddy Rogers was one of the actors, and uh, Richard Arlen was the other. They literally had to learn how to fly in this film. And uh, they would go up in the air. They would strap the camera into this uh, two-cockpit plane, and point the camera right into the point of view as if you were looking at me. And you'd see the breathtaking views behind them in the point of view uh, of, of looking back at them. And that was some of the most breathtaking, impressive stuff. And uh, some of the other photography of various planes, you have the, uh, the uh, you'd see one plane shot from another plane's angle. And that was just breathtaking stuff for the time that really hadn't been done before. No, because no one had thought of it yet. No one had tried something on this grain of a scale. So it was really the first big epic production 
in grand terms of scale of uh, something that is of a recent memory. Uh, of course, Ben-Hur had been made before this is really an epic film in its own right, but this is really the first uh, modern film to take on an epic grand scale. And uh, I, I enjoyed it very much. I can see why everyone was wowed by it. And uh, it's not surprising that uh, Clara Bow plays the, uh, the, the girl who goes and sees the world as well because she goes into the war also. And she has a couple of encounters during the film. She's just seen driving this truck around in the French countryside uh, throughout this film. And uh, she eventually gets kicked out of what she's doing. Sorry if I spoiled it for you, but that's what happens. And uh, she ends up getting getting the guy in the end, at the very end of the movie. And that was a sweet, poignant scene. But uh, I, I want to speak very briefly about the restoration of this film. If you don't have the Blu-ray, I really recommend getting it. Because there's a great restoration done on this film. It wasn't in the best shape, and we're lucky it exists at all. It came from a dupe negative that was struck in the 50s, and it's really the only complete print that's out there in any kind of an acceptable form. So uh, we should count our blessings that we have this film at all. And they, the people at Paramount and other, other people associated with a great restoration. So go buy the Blu-ray if you want to see this film, or you might catch a print of it on like uh, Turner Classic Movies or a channel like that. So that's my review of the first Best Picture winner, Wings from 1927. Alright, so if you sat through five minutes of that boring guy, I commend you. That's going to do it for this month, and I do still do recommend this movie, so please do watch it. Alright, please do subscribe, leave us a comment down below, and uh, let me know how I'm doing with this series. Do you like it? What movie that one best picture should I watch next? You know, I'm always open to ideas. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time here on Nick and Greg. All right. We love you. Bye.